best way to use Google Slides on your Promethean board. We already have the Slides app installed on your board, so let's go ahead and find how to use it. Tap your unified menu, go to Locker. For me, my Slides app is on the third page of apps. You can certainly move that to the first page. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now, when Slides opens, what's going to happen is the Slides app is only going to show you your Slides files. And they're always going to be listed in the top left, last open by me. You can change that by clicking on the drop down menu. You can choose by name. But again, Slides itself is only going to show you your Google Slides and your whole Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this file here called Health Insurance. So I'm going to go ahead and click and open it. And it looks like, wow, that's a really great big Google Slides. I'm ready to present. But we're not there yet. So any links or videos that you want to work on your Google Slides, you actually have to get in present mode. And it doesn't open by default in present mode. You need to get there. This is how you do it. We're going to go ahead and tap on the play button right there. We're going to click on present on this device. Now, one of the great things that you do have is with your wireless keyboards that you're given to use with the Promethean board, you can go ahead and use this to advance. So how can I advance? Well, I can go ahead on the touchpad and just click left. Again, sorry for the interruption. Still looking for a few sixth grade friends to room 351. Eliza Erb, Landon Vandehei, Lila Merso, Emma John, Braden Vandehei, Dawson Moss, Shane Setliff, Miles Lacrosse, and Liberty Tremel. Thank you. Using your wireless keyboard that was provided for you, you can go ahead and advance and be anywhere in the room just by using the trackpad on the left, tapping once. That will advance. To go back, you can go ahead and use the backspace key. Other options is you have two finger scroll up will advance and two finger scroll down. We'll go forward, two finger scroll up, we'll go back. So when you create slideshows, it's really important if you have any videos from YouTube that you're going to insert, that you make sure that you insert video so it looks like this. You don't want to have a link because the link is going to make it much harder for you to find and play that video. And this is why. So here's the video from YouTube on what health insurance is. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Now notice, my slideshow stays up. Comprehensive health insurance is so, as old as you think. So, keyboard right here, in the I can so go ahead using my war. function keys. And those were just types I can go ahead and pause this. In case this. you got injured while traveling on a train or a steamboat, this wasn't nothing since trains and steamboats exploded pretty regularly in those days. But it didn't do much to help with what we would all consider routine health care. Well into the 20th century. You can also control your volume. There just wasn't that much need for health insurance. After you can all, control you your volume by using your function keys. If you got sick, it wasn't like there was an MRI scan. So if you don't have it in full screen, it leaves. But I can, I can advance, go to my next slide. And here's another video. Again, showing as a link. So it works really well. To get out of the full present mode, I'm going to tap on the top portion. And then I'm going to get this back arrow. And then I'm going to get into the edit version of my Google Slides. How do I know it's edit version? Because I would have to scroll up and down this way to go ahead and um, get to my next slide instead of it being full screen. This is an example of a slideshow that I did using Pear Deck. Um, so it comes up just a little bit differently because it has the Pear Deck options on there. So you want to make sure that any type of slideshow you have, if I go here to recent apps, you're going to notice that I have two slides open. This is the actual slideshow, and then right here takes me back to all of my slides. So here's an example of a slideshow that I uh, have been shared with me, and it has links. So right here it says agenda, and then I scroll here, and I'm going to find different links that are going to come up on here. But you want to make sure when you are in present mode, that's the only way you're going to get any of these links to work. So I know on this first slide here, there's a link to the agenda, so I can go ahead and tap that. I'm going to click on open with Chrome, and I'm going to say always, because I know this is a Google Doc. It's going to go to Chrome, it'll pop some things open for me, and then it's going to go ahead and go right to my Google Docs app, 
and then I can go ahead and see that. So if you use slides for morning meetings or it is your driving force of your lesson, making sure that you have your links in there, you can go ahead and go from there. One great thing is if you use Google Classroom, if you share that in Classroom, you can get it all within there. So again, here are my, here's my Google Doc. You can, within Google Docs, also follow any of these links. So if I wanted to go ahead and click on this link here, I'd have to double click and follow link. It gives me right that agenda. So again, your links in slides needs to be in present mode. In Google Docs, it'll go ahead and open up right within there. To get back to that slideshow, because I've moved off of a little bit, I need to make sure I go to my unified menu. And then I go to recent apps, and you're going to see that I have a lot of things open here. If you remember in recent apps, top left is the most current item you're on, and the bottom is going to be the last one. So I have my Google two Google Docs, then I have several slides. This one, it looks twice, but this is where I open up all of my slides, and this is the slideshow. I can go ahead and go back to here, and I stay full screen. Don't forget, you could use your slide left tool, and I can go ahead and pull up Chrome, and I can go ahead and slide that right. This one I am going to minimize. I can have a web page open, I can have a slideshow, I can go back on my annotate, and I can smile and circle and say, all right, here we go, here we have our Wisconsin 21-22 state president, Ethan Armstrong, here from Seymour. So again, I just demonstrated how you could use Google Slides and Google Docs. Sheets would be very similar. It does interact a little bit differently, and don't forget YouTube.